Good morning students. Today we are going to start exercise 1.3. In this exercise you will learn how to represent the numbers using abacus and how to read the abacus and write down the numbers and number names. So let us start with the first question. Question A. Read the abacus and write the number names. Read the abacus and write the number names. So we have to read the abacus, write the number and the number name. So let us start. Always start with ones and count the number of beads shown on the abacus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many beads of ones do you see? 5. So I will write down here. 5. How many beads of tens do you see? 1. So here I will write down 1. How many beads of hundreds do you see? 1, 2, 3. So basically you have 3 beads of hundreds. How many beads of thousands do you see? 1, 2. So how many beads are there? 2. So you have 2 thousands. So the number formed here is 2315. Now we will write down the number name for the same. How many thousand do we have? 2315. So just write down here 2300. What is the spelling of 100? H U N D R E D. 2300. 15 F-I-F-P-E-E-N You all remember the spellings, right? 2315 What is the next one? Shall we start? Count the, start from once and count the number of beads. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 beads of once. 1, 2, 3. 3 beads of tens. 1, 2, Two, two beads of hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Five beads of thousands. So the number formed is 5,234. Now let us write down the number name. Five thousands. Five thousand. T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. Five thousand. 200 H U N D R E D 5234 3 4 is 34 right 5234 so that is question number 1 or question A okay where we read the backers we wrote the number and the number Name. Now the next question. The next question here is show the number on the abacus and write their number names. I repeat show the numbers on the abacus and write their number names. So we have to show this number on the abacus. Okay. So here this number is given as 5003. So how many beads of 3 will I make? How many beads of 3 will I make? 1, 2, 3. And where will I make it? In the 1's line. Okay, I'll make it in this line of 1's. Okay, so let's start. 1, 2, 3. And then next one, 10's. How many beads of 10's do I need to make? 0. If it's 0, that means I do not need to make any beads here. Okay. Same, how many hundreds do we have? Zero. Zero means no need to make any beads. Zero hai, matlab humko beads banane ki zarurat nahi hai. Next, thousands. How many beads of thousands will I make? How many beads will I make in this line of thousands? Five. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I have to write down the number name. 
three. This is very easy. Five thousand. Five thousand. Three. Okay. Next one. Four thousand five hundred and seventy-six. So accordingly, we will make the beads. This is a very easy exercise. If under ones six is written, so I'll make six beads here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Under tens, seven is written, so I'll make seven beads here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Then under five, sorry, under hundreds, five is written. So I'll make how many beads? Correct, five beads. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And under thousands, four is written. So how many beads will I make? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, I have represented the number 4576 on the abacus by making beads. Now, let us write down the number name for the same. 4000. F O U R 4000. T H O U S A N D. 4500. Four thousand five hundred seventy six. Four thousand five hundred seventy six. Understood? So, this exercise is basically very easy. Okay? So, next is C question, read the abacus and write the number and number name. So, this is similar to what we did in question A. So, we have question A, mein kiya, ye usse similar hai. Abacus read karna hai, write the number and number name. So, under in one line, how many beads do I have? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 beads of ones. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, 4 beads in the line of tens. One, two, two beads in the line of hundreds. Then one, two, three, three beads in the line of thousands. So I have here 3244. Now let me just write down the number name. 3000. 3200. So Two hundred. Did you understand this? Three thousand two hundred forty four. Forty four. Now, what is the spelling of forty? Is it F O R T Y or is it F O U R T Y? It's F O R T Y forty four. Okay, 3,244. So that's all for today. Today we did a quick session that is a very easy session about abacus, right? So practice your abacus sums and I'll be back with another session tomorrow. Okay, so thank you.